Hi there. We have a new observation to share with you from the same body of water we've been using recently. Just like previous observations, we're viewing these objects within 1,000 feet of the observer. This time, the center of the camera lens will be slightly higher than the 1.5 inches in previous observations. With ripples on the water this day, we'll be viewing from approximately 2 inches above the waterline. As a reminder, there can be no obstruction due to curvature from this viewing height at a distance of 1,000 feet on a sphere of our given radius. There would only be around 3 tenths of an inch of curvature drop at 1,000 feet, and the geometric horizon would be over 2,200 feet away from the observer. In the previous video, we took the RC yacht out to approximately 700 feet from the observer on a calm day with no ripples and very little movement of the water. By the time the boat reached 700 feet or so, only the very top was visible. We had to raise the viewing height of the camera to receive the light from the boat in full. This new observation took place just before 2 p.m. on February 17th. The near shore water temperature was reading approximately 48 degrees Fahrenheit. The air right near the surface was reading about 45 degrees Fahrenheit and the air from a few feet above the surface was showing about 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Here is a reminder of the scale of the RC yacht in inches. We'll keep the zoom set while the boat moves away from the camera for the next few observations, rather than zooming in and out as we often do. This will be helpful for comparing the apparent size of the boats at the same distance on days of varying conditions. Here is the boat approaching 300 feet or so from the observer. While there are some ripples on the water, we have a direct line of sight to the boat and can see the hull with no problem. Now we sail the boat towards 700 feet. Here is the boat approaching 700 feet or so from the observer. We have to raise the camera height to receive the light from the hull of the boat. and lowering
raising up again. And lowering. There were some focusing issues at times with the camera because of the sunlit sparkles on the water. As we sail the boat back towards the viewer, the hull begins to come back into view. So just as in the previous video, when there were no ripples on the water and the boat disappeared bottom up as it moved away from the viewer. The boat again disappears bottom up as it moves away. Only this time, rather than doing so above the apparent water horizon, the small ripples on the water create the illusion that the boat is disappearing at or below the apparent water horizon. Thanks for watching. There's more to come soon.